to be surrounded by the amazing talent that I'm surrounded by and just an exciting experience and I'm really happy to be a part of it all. Doing an interview in at the Nassau Coliseum. Yep. Heather Moss. And um, we'll talk, let's talk a little bit about tattoos that you have. Any type of style of things that you gravitate to for yourself? Black and gray. <laughs> I have one color piece on my ribs on my left side. Right. And I started with my ribs, so I did this side of my ribs first and then the second side. So I originally wanted to do black and gray and then color, but right, right, right. after I sat through my whole color rib piece, that was enough for me and I went all the way back to black and gray. Right. I met my husband when I was 20 and right. he's the only artist that's, oh, that's ever cool. tattooed me. <laughs> so uh, what uh, tattoos do you have planned uh, um, for the future? I'm actually working on my leg right now, so. That's where we're at with and that. Are you going to go full? No. Or just this is a lot bigger than I wanted it to be. Oh, I, really? I love my legs. I worked really hard on them, right, so right. I'm not covering them up. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. When I first did my arms, it made me really nervous. I, I grew up in a house where tattoos and piercings aren't right, right. really ex socially acceptable. So once I did my arms and I started moving on with my back and getting more visible ones, I was really nervous about them at first. and. One day I was just like, what am I so nervous about? And so I just, they're great conversation pieces. And I think as a tattooed woman, it, it honestly is becoming more socially acceptable in oh, society. So it's, it's great to see more and more people, you know, expressing themselves and actually accepting it. I want to be part of the change that changes the culture where yeah. our president is all tattooed up. So <laughs> the only way that's going to happen is for more people to support it and yeah. more people to show it off. How long ago did you get your first tattoo? When I was 18, I'm 25 now. Okay. So when I was 18, right. um, I did both my sleeves and my back in a year. So I got That's tattooed, so yeah, I got tattooed very quickly. I yeah. swear I was in the chair once a week for an entire year, right, but right. I love it. I just, I'm so addicted and I just I want more and more and more. My That's sleeve right. is all about my marriage. Um, we started with a clock, it's the time we got married. Oh, cool. The numbers falling off for our wedding date. Um, timeless love, my tattoo shop's called Timeless Art. So that's a play on that we used and it all just kind of morphed into a whole family piece. And then this was all inspired by Johnny Quintana, who I love him. I've only been modeling for about a year now. So that is, yeah, it's actually very, <laughs> Facebook, thank you, Facebook. I have an amazing fan base and a lot of it is a West Coast fan base, but one of my fans did asked me to tattoo him and he totally pressured me into doing it. We did his wife's initial on his ring finger. Uh -huh. I was so, I was like sweating profusely from right, right. everywhere. It was awesome, but I was like, ooh, I can do this. <laughs> so we'll see. What's great about the tattoo industry is that it's always evolving. It's right. always changing. It's always getting the bigger, better stuff's coming out. Um, artists continue to get better and better and better. I mean, it's just, it's really great to be involved in something that just continues to grow. Where I come from, there's a lot of politics and it sucks. Like, yeah. um, I don't know what happened to love and support. I just wish that there'd be more morale, I guess yeah. I would say, is That's true. more camaraderie. Yeah. I know a lot of the girls personally just from being involved in the industry, sure. coming into it. Um, you know, you put a bunch of women together and Anything's bound to happen and we're definitely not going to all like each other. Right. But I think how you present yourself, how you carry yourself, and mm -hmm. how you portray yourself right. is going to be the key in this all. Everyone's different. The cultures are different. Um, but I think as a person, your morals, your values, your attitude, right. I think those all should pretty much be the same and they should be in line. And I definitely don't want to see this turn into an East Coast, West Coast thing. I'm too busy for this. So yes. I'm just hoping that this is all going to be, mm -hmm. you know, something great. Right. More tattoo wives to come. I'm so excited. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.